bless everybody. Um, this is not going to be a long one. Um, this morning, I woke up uh, from a dream. And um, the dream was about a specific population, um, the blacks in Pakistan. And um, I want to tell you, when I woke up after I had this dream, I was, you know, I wasn't aware. And I don't know why I wasn't aware or why I would think it was odd. But I wasn't aware that there was a, you know, a, a population of uh, black folks in Pakistan. When, um, you know, black people are all over the world. So, but when I woke up, I, I was like, God, would you give me a dream about? I, I said, I don't think that exists. Y'all got to forgive me. I was like, I don't think that exists. So, <laughs> I, I looked it up, and lo and behold, there is a population, um, a population of, of blacks in Pakistan, and um, I believe they're called Shidi, S H E E D I, and um, so there is a, a population. So I had this dream, and the dream went like this. At first, there was no like country attached to the dream, but I was seeing. Um, the progression from slavery all the way up into like current day, like slavery, and then like you know, okay, you you, but you're not gonna get the. There's no more slavery, but you're not gonna get the best jobs. You're not gonna like you're gonna be oppressed. Like I was seeing that whole progression, like within a moment's time, and then towards the end of the timeline, I was seeing, I was seeing um, um, black people. I saw it was like black people and they were just singing freedom they were just singing out freedom and then it began to there was a voice and the voice began to prophesy about the blacks in Pakistan and what was said was that it was going to be it was going to get harder before it got better that um they and you guys determine who the they is that they were going to make it harder for you. Meaning they, they, well, what was actually said was they were going to take away, like they were going to take their stuff, your stuff as their own, such as like culturally speaking, like they were going to take it and use it as their own, like benefit from it. I don't know exactly what that means, but then it was going to be returned to you and um and that you were going to begin to prosper that that the oppression would be lifted and then that was the end of um the dream so, so what i got from it was that god sees you now the rest of the world may not even like like i, I admit and I, I forgive me but I admit that I, I didn't even know about that population. I didn't even know that there was a Pakis, uh, a black Pakistani um, population. Um, which is, don't get too mad at me because, you know, when you see on the TV, um, black people are all over the world. But when you see other, when you see on TV, countries different countries you never see the black population of that particular country they always um put up the lighter colors um so you never get to see the um african peoples of the country so that's why um a lot of folks don't are not aware of um, the different cultures in different countries. So, um, um, I say all that to say that this dream is kind of special to me. Even though I'm not a black in Pakistan, this dream is special to me because it shows that even though the rest of the world may not take notice or may not know that you're there, God knows that you're there. And that God sees you. And God sees the struggle and God sees the oppression and his eyes on you and his, his, his loving, tender care 
is upon you and he's given you this message to let you know um don't lose heart that he's going to bring you out that he's a deliverer and the cuz i you know i always ask god could, could you give me a confirmation scripture or something like that and the scripture he gave me was psalm 18 psalm 18 um and I hesitated to put this out because anytime you're talking about culture or race or anything, it's always like a big thing. But, you know, it's just telling the truth, you know, it's just telling the truth of, of, of what, what went down. That's it. Just telling the truth of what went down. So, um, so yeah, God bless you. And if you're listening to this. And you're like, well, I'm not a uh, black in Pakistan, you know, I can't identify, identify with the fact that no matter how small you may seem, God has his eye upon you. No matter how you might think, well, God ain't, you know, worrying about me because, you know, who am I? God has his eye on you. And um, read, read Psalm 18. And I believe that will um, encourage you. Um, All right. Well, I, I guess that's it. Guys, I love you. Take care. And until we meet again.